Hi guys, my name is Alyssa and I am going to start the first part of this series, which is Venus in the Signs, aka what's your love style? Anyway, this should not be that long of a video because Venus is not long of a whatever. Venus and Aries people, and you're going to be able to find this by finding your chart, otherwise you're not necessarily going to know where your Venus is, so go find your chart. Go Google it. Okay, find my chart in astrology. Google. Google's awesome. Okay. So, your Venus is in Aries. It turns out, oh my gosh, it's amazing. You're the aggressor in the relationship. You're going to be the one to call the person. You are the one that actually probably is a little bit too straightforward in love for most people. You might have an issue with being too dedicated to somebody or maybe putting yourself too out there. Because as a Venus in Aries, it's first, it's impatient, it just wants what it wants. And if it's in the love sign, which is Venus, you're, you're just kind of like pushed in that direction, that general direction to find love, to collect love, to get it and just be excited about it and to make it want you back. It's also a little bit of a, a push and pull in the fact that Venus and Mars are separate separate ends of the masculine feminine. You have Venus, which is the woman, and Mars, which is the man. And if your Venus, the woman, is in a sign that's ruled by Mars, which is the man, you as a woman who has Venus in Aries might f always feel like you come, you're a little bit mannish. You're a little bit of a tomboy. You you don't care about the social norms of how to be in a relationship you're going to kind of you know take control on a regular basis and maybe even in life in general so i have seen men with venus and aries just get their heart broken on a regular basis because they're just so like putting it out there something really interesting about uh venus and aries people is how urgent love is for them how quick they need it how how fleeting it could be so like how much they need to just attack it when they have it but then seem almost fickle later because it can go away just as easily all of this fiery passion that gets burnt out pretty quickly and so you might be somebody who gets divorced a lot or maybe even just finds that you go through a lot of relationships or even don't go through relationships maybe you don't have any at all because you're constantly putting yourself out there and getting rejected, but you just keep doing it and you don't really understand what's wrong with you. A lot of Venus and Aries people find that people tell them they need to back off or that they ruin things by crushing them, like by, you know, you hug the soft bunny because you love it so much and you don't realize that it can't breathe anymore. That's Venus and Aries. It's a pretty exciting place for Venus as far as an attraction level. People are very attracted to the personality of a Venus and Aries as they want to rise up to the top of the clique. You know, they want to be in charge of their group of friends and they always have the funny things to say. They're not going to need, it's not like Venus and Leo needing all this attention on them. They just kind of take it and they want it and they're like, oh, this is exciting. I am going to just be really in here and engage in conversation and be liked by everybody. What can happen when you're in Venus and Aries is if you are also introverted and you're really burnt out by the fact that you feel pushed to be this person and when you have to step back and be like, I am I am not this person. I want to just sit at home and be comfortable because I get like freaked out by my own self sometimes. But if you're an extroverted, extroverted you're you're going to do really well with the Venus and Aries, but you might just become a little bit too aggressive. If you want to keep a relationship alive with someone who has Venus and Aries, you need to be spontaneous. You need to be different. You need to constantly change it up. Venus and Aries like funny people, people who are supportive of them and also will laugh at their jokes, but also tell some on occasion. You need to be different and intriguing and somebody who doesn't care if you're smothered and then all of a sudden not smothered because that's what they're going to do. They're going to jump on you and then they're going to get bored and jump off and you're going to have to pull them back in. It can almost be like uh, suffocate freedom, suffocate freedom, suffocate freedom. And if you're like into that, yeah, totally go for the Venus and Aries because they're going to give that to you. Aries is a very loyal sign. It's the youngest. It like it needs that camaraderie and that companion and the, the family and the friendship and the love. Aries just naturally does because it's young. It's it's a baby. It's just like, please be around me. And and so when your Venus is in Aries, your love planet is just wants 
wants it so bad. It, your heart just yearns for it. Just kind of, it's like this is something that I just want affection from people and I want to be surrounded by people and I want my family. A lot of Venus and Aries will open up their houses for other their friends to come over for family occasions because it's like this is this is a feeling that I get. This is this is my home and my family around me, snuggling me up in the blankets. Maybe maybe you like to be tucked in when you go to bed. I've seen some Venus and Aries like that. <laughs> anyway, that is all for today. Peace. <coughs> 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 <coughs>